We are now live on TikTok as well. Um, for those who are watching from TikTok, okay, I don't think anyone's on right now because it just started. But I'm uh, just going to change the angle here quickly. Great. Glory to God, guys. Uh, we are now live on both platforms. And we're going to do Galatians 1, 2, 3. So, glory to God. Welcome. I see people joining in from TikTok now. Um, great. We're going we're gonna to open up in prayer and then we're going to get into the Word of God. In Galatians chapter 5, we're going to read just the first three chapters. Maybe I can put that a little further back as well. Great. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, glory to God. Praise God. Praise the Holy Spirit. Without Jesus, we are nothing. Let's talk about the reality of things right here guys we need jesus we need him more every day we cannot do life without jesus amen and god is no respecter of persons God is not going to favor you over someone else because you're his special buddy. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. Amen. I'm just going to change the sound setting, guys. Sorry, I forgot to turn this off. It's, it's a little overpowering. It's a little loud, I know. But not anymore. I think it's much better now. I apologize for the, the loud background music, guys. It was because I put loudness equalization on for a different thing I use on my computer. I have to use a loudness equalization but for the live streams, I always turn it off. <clears throat> Liliani, welcome to the live. John, I'm well by the grace of God, brother. How are you doing, John? Do you need prayer? Let me know. Thanks for joining in and thank you guys for joining in today. Uh, we're going to get into reading in the book of Galatians tonight from the first uh, chapter through to the third chapter. It's going to be uh, three chapters in total. So we're going to pray. We're going to open up in prayer and get straight into it. I'm cool. Thank you. That's good to hear. Uh, John, I'm glad, brother. Cool. Let's open up in prayer right now. And then we will do some Bible reading as well. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we... Thank you for this evening, for this live stream. Lord, I just want to take this time to submit myself to you. That you, Holy Spirit, will have your way on this live stream. You will bring the, the, the right people to this live stream that need to be here. And Holy Spirit, that as we receive from your word tonight, that we, that we will grow in faith, that we will have understanding and wisdom and revelation from the scriptures. In Jesus' name, we believe that you would encounter us tonight, Holy Spirit. As we know, we cannot do anything without you. And we need you, Holy Spirit. So I also just ask you that everything I say and how I say it, I just pray that you would take over, Holy Spirit, that you would give me the right words to say to the people and that we would all learn and grow and be encouraged tonight for your glory, Father, for the expansion of your kingdom, for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, Lord God, in this time, I just want to also say 
Father, that, that to you and you alone, I give you all the glory, all the praise and the honor for everything. Because you are worthy of it all. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the word of God? John, thanks for the heart me then. And prophetess, thank you for the roses there. Amen. Jackie, welcome to the love. Amen. Uh, glory to God. So, uh, <laughs> much love back to you. I like your username. I love you there. Amen. Thank you, precious and mighty God. Glory to God. Call me. Hallelujah. Hi. Been fighting, avoiding sins, and last night sinned again. Today, I feel very down. Pray for me. I'm sorry to hear that uh, Valentine or Valentine nails. Lord, we just pray for Valentine right now. Valentine. We pray for strength to rise up within her, Lord. We thank you, Father, for her, for her life. And even though she has sinned, Lord, she has admitted her wrongs. She has confessed her sins. So we call healing for her, Lord. We ask that you just heal her heart in this time. And that you just strengthen her the way forward, Lord. That you would give her hope to know that there is liberty. That there is freedom. Freedom is her portion because of what you did on the cross, Lord Jesus. And through you, Holy Spirit, that we can live lives of righteousness. So I pray that you'd put a new strength in her tonight, Lord. Let her be encouraged tonight, filled with hope for freedom that is to come for her, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, Elizabeth. Uh, Rachel, welcome to the live stream. God bless you. And uh, John, thanks for the rose. Megan, welcome to the live. Thank you for the 20 roses and the heart me. Call me with the five roses there. Awesome. Amen, amen, guys. Great. I see the amens in the chat. Awesome. So we're going to read in the book of Galatians tonight. It's going to be Galatians chapter 1 to chapter 3. Just three chapters in total. Hi again, Chad. <laughs> I was just on a Zoom meeting with uh, my brother in Christ, yeah, Chad. He's, him and I are very, very close friends, if not best friends. And I tell you guys, I've also been through ups and downs as well. You know, and this might encourage you. Valentina as well and and just talking to a friend really helps as well and that's what you've done the Bible says in the book of James that um, confess your sins to one another so that so that you can be healed for your healing so it really is beneficial to talk about it because Jesus said that everything that is hidden will be brought to the light so if we don't deal with our sins now, we will we can be sure that our sins will find us out later on in life. And if we don't deal with it until we pass on, we will have to deal with it at judgment day and you don't want that because your sin will be against you and you will not be able to inherit eternal life. Many will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we serve you didn't we do these things for you didn't we um, honor you with our sacrifice of taking time to cast out demons and prophesy in your name and didn't we do these great works for you you know like also for me to preach the word of God to you guys is great but it doesn't secure my salvation so Jesus will say many many will say in that day many will say in that day lord lord didn't we do this and that in your name 
And Jesus will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Iniquity is a form of sin. It is something that is inside of you that you didn't deal with. So it's good to talk about this. It's good to deal with your sin while it is still called today so that you deal with your adversary before you get to the judge. Amen. Very good. Uh, can I have a prayer for my mom and dad health? Yes, let's pray for John's parents for their health, guys. Lord, we lift up John and his parents tonight. Lord, we pray for healing, wholeness, restoration in their health, Lord. In Jesus' name, we believe it by faith. Amen and amen. Kerwin, welcome to the love for both you and I as well as all believers. Amen, Chad, and I love the humility as well for you Chad is Chad is a lot uh, older than me to to be frank with you guys he he is a little older than me by some years and he has a lot more experience with me the, he has a lot more experience than me when it comes to being a pastor not that I'm official pastor or anything but when it comes to ministry he has he has a lot more experience as 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 he's been around more he's more mature in years but yet he still remains humble and this is part of the fruit the bible says you will know them by their fruit i'm not looking at chad as a brother in christ as a friend to ask him how good he is or to ask him where his fruit is his fruit is in what he does how he behaves his character using this as an example because i know him well is that what the heart is full of the mouth will speak if your heart is full of the word of god you will be talking about the things of god if your heart is full of worldly things you're going to talk about worldly things and so sometimes even you know in basic conversation when i'm talking to my brothers on a daily basis about what we doing in life what we enjoying what show we watching what movies we are watching it's all great but the fact that we always remember to talk about Jesus shows us that we have been spending time with him we have been reading our Bibles so you don't have to impress anyone with words you don't have to impress anyone by trying to impress them you don't even have to impress anyone it's not our goal but in the obedience to the word that you have will determine what kind of fruit we produce so it is so powerful that we remain humble always amen glory to god so uh Call me. Thank you for the roses there. Rachel, thank you so much for the roses as well. Um, amen. Glory to God. Please pray for the past to be the past and to overcome addiction and surrender. Yes. Let's pray for Nicholas, guys. Lord, we pray for, for Nicholas right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, for a touch on his love, a touch of your love, Lord, that you would remind him how much you love him and how much he can do away with everything else in life, Lord, that that he would learn, grow in faith, in the knowledge of your will for his life. And we come against all the assignments of the enemy against Nicholas. We break its power now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Father God, for fire, refining holy fire to consume Nicholas from the top of his head lord down to the sole of his feet into his soul into his spirit being that he knows by you father you love us you discipline those you accept as children so we pray for strength through this journey ahead for nicholas lord that he will not look to the left or to the right but that he'll be focused on the race that is set before him 
that you have prepared for him, Father. Satan, we break your lies right now in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against Nicholas shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. So yeah, that's the thing, Nicholas. Satan tries to always lie to us to make us think that we can never be free, to make us think that we don't have hope. But God's word always goes against Satan's plans. God's word says that he has a future and a hope for us. And that is what he's saying for you, Nicholas. I feel like the plan that God has for you is what you need to focus on right now. So sometimes we are too focused on the addiction. We are too, too focused on, on dealing with sin that we forget about what God has called us to. God has called us to walk by faith and not by sight. God has called us with a plan and a purpose to move forward in life and not backwards. Amen. God bless you, Nicholas. Thank you, Father God, for Liliani, for her life and her way forward, Lord. In Jesus' name, for peace, guidance, and wisdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray for uh, Chanteline. Uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Sorry. Lord, we pray for this lady's daughter. In Jesus' name, whatever is going on, whatever situations have aro arose between uh, the daughter and certain happenings, we just pray for peace over that situation, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for Nasi Nasim. Lord, for favor over Nasim's life. Whatever is holding him down, we come against it right now by the power of the name of Jesus. We cover Nasim with the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, for the plan that you have for Nasim. Plans for a hope, plans for peace. Lord, in Jesus' name, everything that needs to be healed in the life, all trauma, be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Interesting prayer for Nicholas. Once you hear my long, cool stuff, Chad, long voice note. Yes, I will certainly get to it. Amen. It's true. Thank you. God bless you too. God bless you, Nicholas. You know, guys, when, when I'm praying, sometimes I don't know what to pray for. Of course, many times, most times, I don't know what to pray for. Well, most times, let's just say. But many times I do know what to pray for because I have a request. Let your request be made known to God. But many times I don't know what to pray for. And then the Holy Spirit will show us what we need to pray for as well. So it's really great. Now, I know, okay, guys, I do apologize about what I'm about to say, okay? is we, We're going to have to shut the chat off so that we can focus on the Word of God. Um, reason being, uh, we have three chapters we're going to be doing tonight in the book of Galatians, and we haven't even started yet. We've already been almost 20 minutes into the live stream. I'd love to pray for the comments that are left. I would love to pray for you guys. After that, though, there will be um, Bible reading. So we'll have to put the chat off just for the session. And after the session, if there are further prayer requests, guys, we'd love to take them up as well. Amen. Let's pray for Ch Chisali. Hope I'm saying your name right, man. Chasali. Lord, we pray for Chasali in Jesus' name. Whatever you have for Chasali, let him walk into that, Father God. Lord, we just come against these weapons against his love. Chasali, I'm sensing that there has been a spiritual whip that Satan has been beating you 
with the spiritual whip. It's affecting your finances. It's affecting your relationships. It's affecting your life. Every time you get going with something, Satan whips you with that spiritual whip and it's hard on you. It feels difficult. But from today, no more whippings in Jesus' name. Satan, we remind you that God's word says that God's children have a advantage. According to Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against us, we shall condemn. Chastisement is from the Lord, but whippings from Satan is not from God, unless God allows it. But in this case, Lord, we pray for a freedom and we break these attacks on uh, Chisali's life in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, for restoration in every area in his life, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, please can we pray for a friend of mine. I've not been able to reach her and she has depression. Well, we come against that depression in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for Megan's friend for complete encouragement right now to her heart, Lord. In Jesus' name, that should lift her up and out of all darkness, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I'd love to continue praying. I'm really sorry. We're going to have to put a pause on the chat. We're going to get into the Word of God. After Bible reading session, there will be plenty more time for prayer requests and, and, and all that as well if you guys need prayer. But this is good, guys, that we let our, our requests be made known to God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, guys, I'm going to put a pause on the chat, okay? We, we, we're going to come straight back to the chat after these three chapters, even on YouTube. Uh, I'm still kind of new to the, the YouTube setup, but those who are watching from YouTube, I don't know if you're able to chat now or not, but if you are or not, I'm not able to look at them right now. We are going to focus on the Word of God. All right. So getting into today's session, it's going to be in the book of Galatians. We're going to read just the first three chapters and it's going to be good. So glory to God. Let's get into it. I hope you guys from YouTube can hear me clear enough because it's a different setup. You're not hearing from the mark. It's just the onboard mark. Glory to God, guys. Praise God for His Word. The living Word of God. How can we do without it? We cannot. All right. Galatians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle, not from men, nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead. Just turn the music down a little bit. And all the brethren who are with me to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another. But there are some who trouble you 
and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. For I do not, <clears throat> sorry, for do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bond servant of Christ. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former, con my former conduct in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me through His grace to reveal His Son in me, that I might preach Him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went to Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and remained with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Now concerning the things which I write to you, indeed before God I do not lie. Afterward I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown by face to the churches of Judea which were in Christ, but they were hearing only he who formerly persecuted us now preaches the faith which he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God in me. Amen. So we know that God used Paul, who used to be quite the persecutor. He used to persecute Christians so severely probably more than most, more than any anyone at the time. And God changed his life around completely. So if God can change Paul from being an absolute persecutor to be an apostle, he can change your life into whatever God has meant for it to be. Amen. All right. Second chapter now in the book of Galatians. This is Galatians chapter two. Then after 14 years, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and also took Titus with me. And I went up by revelation and communicated to them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. But privately to those who were of reputation, lest by any means I might run or had run in vain. Excuse me. Yet not even Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be, to be circumcised. And this occurred because of false brethren secretly brought in, who came in by stealth to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, to whom we did not yield submission even for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. But from those who seemed to be uh, something, but from those who seemed to be something, whatever they were, it makes no difference to me. God shows personal favoritism to no man. For those who seemed to be something added nothing to me. 
but on the contrary when they saw that the gospel for the uncircumcised had been committed to me as the gospel for the circumcised was to Peter for he who worked effectively in Peter for the apostleship to the circumcised also worked effectively in me toward the Gentiles and when James Cephas and John who seemed to be pillars perceived the grace that had been given to me they gave me and Barnabas the great um, the right hand of fellowship that we should go to the Gentiles and they to be circumcised they desired only that we should remember the poor the very thing which I also was eager to do now when Peter had come to Antioch I withstood him to his face because he was to be blamed for before certain men came from James he would eat with the Gentiles but when they came he withdrew and separated himself fearing those who were of the circumcision and the rest of the Jews also played the hypocrite with him so that even Barnabas was carried away with their hypocrisy but when I saw that they were not straightforward about the truth of the gospel I said to Peter before them all if you being a Jew live in the manner of the gen uh, in the manner of Gentiles and not as the Jews why do you compel uh, compel Gentiles to live as Jews we who were uh, sorry we who are Jews by nature and did not sinners of the Gentiles and not sinners of the Gentiles knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by faith in Jesus Christ even we have believed in Christ Jesus that we might be justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law for by the works of the law no flesh shall be justified but if while we seek to be justified by Christ we ourselves are also not are, we ourselves also are found sinners is Christ therefore a minister of sin certainly not for if I build again those things which are destroyed I make myself a transgressor for I through the law died to the law that I might live to God for I through the law died to the law that I might live through God I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me I do not set aside the grace of God for if righteousness comes through the law then Christ died in vain So what are we understanding here? We're understanding that, of course, it's not by works. Of course, we are not ourselves anymore as well because we have been crucified with Christ. When we give our lives to Christ, we acknowledge the fact that the sin that died on the cross with Jesus also dies with us so our fleshly desires have now been crucified i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ in me and the life which i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me so because god did this for us he also is showing us that we have the capacity we have the ability to live for him by faith it takes faith to not sin because if you are looking forward to the day that you get to be with the Lord Jesus you 
are going to say, I do not want to go back to my life of sin because I believe by faith that Jesus is my savior. I believe by faith that I will be delivered from this evil world, from the wretched man that I am. So in faith, I crucify the flesh daily. Paul says, I think in the previous chapter, a previous book, I mean, I die daily. Meaning that we in the flesh, our lives on earth need to constantly on a daily basis die. The way we do this is not by the flesh, but through the power of the Holy Spirit. I know without a doubt, if I do not spend time with God, I get spiritually dry. If I am constantly feeding the flesh with entertainment instead of strengthening spiritually, I am leaving my self a lot more vulnerable to sin. If I slip up and make a mistake that doesn't make me a backslider. But if I sin, it's because I allowed the flesh to overcome what God has told me to do because God will not force us to not sin. Even though we are slaves to righteousness, that slave to sin mentality is still in the flesh. And if the flesh is still alive, you are still a slave to sin. That's why you have to let the flesh die. And the way it's very difficult, but it's not impossible. The way we let the flesh die is we replace our time that we would usually spend in rest, in enjoyment. Those times are the most crucial times in our spiritual lives because when we say no to self time to me time and we say Lord Jesus I have been busy with my work and now I want to relax but instead of relaxing I'm going to sacrifice that time for you such an act produces a spiritual strength. I've seen without a doubt that at, at night I enjoy playing a bit of video games, bit of Need for Speed, like to maybe watch a movie. I like to relax. I've had a long day after the live stream. I'm tired. I just want to relax. But I know without a doubt that if I do not decide to spend my own personal devotional with God, I'm going to leave myself vulnerable. And this is what the Lord has shown me is that if I am slacking cognitive dissonance, procrastination, lingering, if I am doing those things, I am allowing the flesh to be fed. And I've seen this happen way too many times in my life. So I have made the mistake again and again and again. And I'm talking from personal experience, I'm being so real with you guys because this is what happens. So the way we crucify the flesh is by feeding our spiritual lives instead of our fleshly lives. Whether you at work, whether you at home, there is always time for Jesus, but we neglect that time with Jesus and that's why we cannot be free from sin. That's why we cannot get out of that addiction. That's why we cannot go to the next level is because of our lingering, our slacking, our loss of focus. And so it takes sacrificial time. It takes time to sacrifice that will produce righteousness through the Holy Spirit, not through us. All we do is obey. Then the Holy Spirit brings forth the needed equipping 
the needed strength. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, but if we are not spending time with Christ, how can we just expect Him to do everything for us? We are also part of the body. We also play a part. So we all have a job to do. Our calling isn't only doing good things for others. Our calling is to have a relationship with God because God is no respecter of persons. It doesn't matter because you gave money to the poor or that you prayed for someone that you are laid off now that you don't have to uh, read your Bible today because you did other things that were good. No, God is no respecter of persons. As we just read as well, God doesn't show favoritism. He doesn't favor someone above another. Meaning, we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So the whole idea of this is the fact that we have been made a new creation in Christ Jesus. We are no longer the old man. The old man has died. The old man has been crucified with Christ. Amen. So this is it, guys. The whole idea of this is to get more serious about our timing. I look at my own life and I can make excuses. I can make so many excuses that will sound really good on why I have not been able, not been able to spend time with God today. But it really is just an excuse. It is not valid. So it's not like, okay, God will understand if I take a day or two off just because I want to relax. No, it is a daily thing. We are not we are not giving up because we have been called by God as more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus who loved us first. So you can do it. We can do it. In Jesus name. We can do it. Amen. So I do not set aside the grace of God for if righteousness comes through the law then Christ died in vain. Jesus has done everything for you already. You don't have to do the sacrificing of blood of such torment. Jesus has done that already for you. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Jesus died by taking the sin upon the world upon himself. He died taking the sin upon himself, but his portion wasn't hell because hell could not hold him. Hell is a place that is made not even for us human beings. It is made for sin. Sin is not evident only in human beings. Sin is also evident in fallen angels, such as Lucifer being the first one who ever sinned in all creation. Lucifer sinned in heaven. And then Lucifer came to Eve and and Lucifer wanted to share the rebellion. Lucifer wanted to share the sin. Because he was alone. Lucifer was alone and he was afraid. And so therefore he knew he is dead in his track. So he's going to do everything he can to take down people with him. He knows that he's messed up. He knows that he cannot make up for what he did because he is he does he cannot help himself. He is just evil. He it, you cannot trust Lucifer. You cannot trust him for one moment because he will let you down 10 out of 10 times. A million out of a million times Satan will let you down. Do not trust him for a moment, but Eve trusted him and that was her downfall. And that's how sin was brought into humanity. 
Satan shared his rebellion with humanity. So we also messed up. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the God we serve. We serve a God of love. He has made a way for us. So why are we slacking? Why are we lazy in being children of God? Think about this. If you're a child of God, you want to know your father. Your father wants to know you. Your father wants you to come to him. If you are in need, if you need to learn something, if you need advice, if you need help, you go to your father and he is there to help you. He cares for you. He loves you so much that he will he will do anything to try and help you. Now we may have earthly fathers that have gone out of their way to help us. But we should know that we also have a heavenly father who has gone out of his way already. He has given everything. He has given the one that means everything to him. Jesus Christ, the only begotten son of God. The holy son of God, glorious son of God, king of glory was given up. God gave him up. And because he loves us, that shows us how much God loves us. God's love for us was not in vain. Jesus didn't die in vain, but he died a death that has more meaning than there will ever be. So why are we slacking in our relationship with Jesus? That is the question we should all ask ourselves including me. How can we improve our relationship with Jesus? Let's make adjustments. Let's put in the hours. Let's sacrifice an extra five or 10 minutes a day to just talk to him and just have a conversation with him just to worship him, praise him, thank him for all your all the things that you have, everything that is provided for you. Amen. Jesus is our strength. So anyway, guys, we got one more chapter. We're going to read Galatians chapter three. Uh, let's read. All right. Just give me a second. Galatians chapter three. O oh, foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh have you suffered so many things in vain if indeed it was in vain therefore he who supplies the spirit to you and works miracles among you does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith just as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying in you, all the nations shall be blessed. So then those who are of the faith, sorry, for those who are of faith are blessed 
with believing Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident for the just shall live by faith. Yet the law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I speak in the manner of men, Though it is only a man's covenant, yet if it is confirmed, no one annuls or adds to it. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He does not say, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to your seed who is Christ. And this I say that the law which was 430 years later cannot annul the covenant that was confirmed before by God in Christ, that it should make the promise of no effect. For if the inheritance is of the law, it is no longer of promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. What purpose then does the law serve? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was appointed through, and it was appointed through angels by the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator does not me, uh, mediate for one only, but God is one. Is the law against the promises of God? Certainly not. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness would have been by the law. But the scripture has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. But before faith came, we were kept under God by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring Christ, uh, to bring us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Amen. Glory to God. That is Galatians chapter 3 right there. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. And now we are back to the chat, guys. So I want to tell you guys, now is the time to put in your prayer requests. If you have any questions, I'm going to put the chat on as well. Okay, so great. Um, thank you guys for the feedback as well f- from YouTube. Great. Okay, thank you, Chad, as well. If you 
the one that was watching from YouTube or is still watching. Great. Thanks for checking. Cool. Glory to God, guys. Glory to God. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I was told by about three accounts that I had a generational curse and demonic attack. So, Ineka, if you know that you have not yet dealt with those generational curses, then they're still there and they need to be dealt with, of course. But there's always hope for freedom. I've also had generational curses over my life that were broken by the power of Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. They were destroyed, broken. Okay. Two were Benny Hinn and Ibuka songs. Interesting. Well, if that if that is confirmed that you still have generational generational curses that need to be broken, let's pray. Father, I pray for uh, Ineka right now in Jesus' name. If there are any generational curses, Lord. We know without a doubt that you have the power, Lord. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. So we ask you, Holy Spirit, to break anything that may still be there in Ineka's life. If there are any generational curses, by the power of the name of Jesus, we break these curses in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is done. Megan or MG, sorry. Greetings to you. Have both up, just one is silenced. Oh, that's great. Okay, thanks for the feedback, Chad. Jesus Christ saves. Amen. What does it mean when you sleep and you think they are someone who is watching you while sleeping? Okay, key. Um, if you feel this is affecting you, excuse me, if you feel like it is a demonic oppression, if you feel like it is demons, I know that we've been dealing with this, okay? That you've had certain happenings in your life I don't want you to be in fear because perfect love casts out fear Jesus loves you so much and if God is for us who can be against us I can tell you without a doubt the reason why Satan cannot overshadow me with his fear anymore is because he knows I know the truth. The Bible says the truth will set you free. So when you believe in the word of God and you speak the word of God, Satan knows that he cannot come to you and torment you any longer because you know too much you know too much so this is why we need to always be on the firm foundation be on the rock who is Jesus Christ and the word of God is what our lives should be deeply rooted in so that when to uh, torments come it will not shake us the torment that was meant for us cannot touch us because of our faith in Jesus Christ I'm telling you 
the word of God, Jesus Christ, has saved me in and through every spiritual and physical attack. So key, if there's one thing you can take from tonight, know that there is hope in Jesus Christ that you can call on him at any given time and by faith you believe in his word you speak his word as the Bible says in James 4 7 submit to God resist the devil and he will flee so don't be afraid to speak the word of God over your situation amen Jordan tonight has been real bro appreciate it Chad I love it man glory to God I'm glad man I cannot be here in front of you guys if it weren't for Jesus if it weren't for the Holy Spirit I don't feel worthy to even be here in front of you guys preaching the gospel preaching the Word of God I don't deserve it I'm not worthy to be here by my own standards by myself in the flesh but by the grace of God there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus okay so glory to God okay so in Eka, be very careful when people ask you for money be very careful and pray about it because if you have to pay a certain amount of money for deliverance or for a blessing nowhere in the Bible does it say that you have to pay for a blessing healing deliverance miracles are not paid for people are trying to use the Bible so that they can be rich so that they can make money does not work like that we see for example a sorcerer by the name of Simon tried to give the apostles money so that he can lay hands on people for them to receive the Holy Spirit and there were terrible terrible things spoken over him that certain things would happen to him because he wanted to pay money for what is free what for for who is freely given the Holy Spirit he's the Lord he has been freely given to us so Simon had to pray and he had to get people to pray for him so that he would not be utterly destroyed because of his ignorant ways I'm just gonna end the live stream on YouTube because unfortunately the connection was lost I tried the 2.4 instead of the 5g tonight because the 5g reconnects every once in a while and it worked pretty well but I think next time we'll just stick to the 5g but anyway okay I didn't even know that anyway thanks for your prayers two months ago for my son he's 60 days sober glory wait what two months ago praise Jesus glory to God Wow Rachel thank you for sharing that testimony glory to God hallelujah 
What? You see now, guys, two months ago, and he's 60 days sober. That is two months, right? So that's amazing, Rachel. Thank you, Father, for more grace. Thank you for Rachel's life. Thank you for Rachel's son that he has been sober for 60 days. Glory to you, Father. Hallelujah. Come on, guys. We serve a mighty God. I didn't make mention earlier, but I want to thank you guys, Megan, Erin, Anya, Andy Necker for the gift to the live stream as well. God bless you guys. Okay. I'm behind on the chat, guys. Sorry, let me just get back to the chat. I sent $4 Canadian, about 5,000 uh, Naira. I, I don't even know. Naira. And 500 to them. Okay. Nathan, welcome to the live. Also, you got to know that there are people who claim to have orphanages, claim to support orphanages when they don't. They're making up a false story. So you got to, and the word orphanage is used so often with scammers. You got to really be careful of this. I'm not saying that the person is a scammer. I don't know the situation. I don't know who the person is, but you got to watch out for these things. I almost was scammed once where a person acted out to be this old woman who's dying and she's got all this inheritance money that she wants to help me with and all i need to do is send a bit of money to claim the money it's a it's a scam whenever someone asks you for money for something and you don't want it they were insisting then it's a scam don't believe it yes god never leaves us nor forsakes us amen Okay, so Nabira, we pray in Jesus' name for God's will to be done in your life. We come against every attack of the enemy. We come against everything that's not from God and we break its power in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for whatever you're doing to be revealed for peace and hope and guidance for Nabira in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Amen. You too, Nathan. God bless. Amen, Ineka. You are free. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Ineka, so much. You are free. God bless you, Amy. Glory and thanks to Jesus. When I was sleeping with my granny, she was crying while she was sleeping. And she was saying no while she was sleeping. So you know what, Key, these things happen. My brother Jonathan, sometimes if I'm walking in the house at night and my brother Jonathan is sleeping, I usually sometimes, it's usually only him and sometimes I hear him talking in his sleep as well. So when people talk in the sleep, it's not going to make sense, okay? Unless it's something very specific that relates to certain happenings in a person's life, maybe you can understand what's going on but um don't think too much of it if it's bothering you just pray about it okay jordan i lost my way and you have shown me how to get close to jesus again megan that is amazing to hear i'm really glad to hear that and praise jesus because we we need jesus you know, and, and, and the, 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 one of the major lies that Satan tries to use against us is that we're too far gone from Jesus, that we cannot come back to him. But that is, that is what Satan wants us to believe because Satan comes to kill, steal and destroy. You cannot trust him. You cannot trust those negative thoughts. But there's always hope to come back to Jesus. No matter how much you've sinned, no matter how far you've been from God, don't be afraid to come back to him. 
He loves you. He is waiting for you. He is jealous for you. So it's so glad. I'm so glad. It is so great to hear that you have your relationship with Jesus has strengthened. You've come back to Jesus. And glory to God for that, Megan. I'm glad to hear that. Praise Jesus. Glory to God. So glad you addressed the dollar for blessings here. Truly important. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, I did not pay for the prayers. They asked me to donate to the orphanage with sick kids. Okay, I see. I see. The kids have leukemia. Wow. Yeah, Jordan, I know about that. Wasn't trying to buy the anointing. Cool stuff, Ineka. Thanks for clearing those things out. By no means was I accusing you of anything. But I was pointing some things out, not specifically just for you, Ineka, but for all of us guys. Because I've also almost been scammed many times with the way people do things. But yeah, just watch out for those things. Amen. Glory to Jesus. He even got a job last week. Wow. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for for raising Rachel's son back to life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. Amen. Glory to God. Lily Annie, I don't understand. Uh, I can't translate that, but it looks good. Uh, The power of prayer. Glory to God. You see MCF as well. There it is right there. Amen. God bless you, MCF. I feel like I'm forgetting your name. I'm so sorry about that. Ibuka Songs, a celeb gospel singer, asked for $50 for anointing oil to be given to the orphanage. I see. Okay. But many people claim to be people that they're not. So just also be very careful and validate and do your research on a person before handing something over to them especially money amen okay lacora we pray father god for lacora's relationships and the specific relationship that lacora is talking about i just pray in jesus name for total restoration if it's your will lord let it be done in jesus name amen please pray for my wife she's nine months pregnant okay thank you father god for chasali's wife lord we pray that this pregnancy and the birth of this child will go well in jesus name lord we pray in jesus name a blessing and a covering over this child lord that the child will grow up strong in the lord and everything will go well with this pregnancy with the birth of this child lord with the wife as well for recovery for health for the wife as well as the child in jesus name amen god bless all right Uh, rachel thank you for the finger art and megan for the team bracelets there we have to be faithful to god amen fear of god important yes that is true you're right it may be scammers yeah so you just got to do your background check on it and just watch out for that in eka amen the benny hin account didn't ask for money okay now sometimes like i was having a conversation with a person for weeks for i think a couple weeks before the person asked me for money and so this is what professional scammers do they make they try and convince you that they someone that they're not once they've won you over they try and ask you for money this is how these professional scammers do it and by no means do i wish anything bad on the scammers okay I know that you get those scammer payback guys from YouTube and they've taken out a lot of scammers. Hats off to them. But I don't agree with cursing scammers. I don't agree with getting revenge on scammers, scammer revenge. I do not uh, 
agree with scammer payback. I agree with justice coming to scammers. So by sure, go ahead and, 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 and get justice for the scammers so that people aren't scammed. I'm all for that. But us as Christians, we are not to do evil to those who are doing evil. We are to do good. Always do good. Love those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who spitefully use you. Love your enemies. So, if you were scammed, forgive that scammer. Love them. Pray for them. Pray that they would turn from their wicked ways. Do not curse them. Do not hate them. Amen? Cool. I only support if I go there personally. I work with a great organization that fight GBV. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. And you know what? That is that is it. Rather, if you are able to see with your own eyes the legitimacy of a person and you can get confirmation with two or three witnesses that's good that's good then you can validate but do not give money to anyone if you cannot validate who they are You are blessed and free, Necker. In Jesus' name, Amen. Megan, you say your husband talks in your sleep. Interesting, but I think just just happens with some people. I mean, you can pray for that. Pray for that, that that would stop. I don't think that would be a bad prayer request. Is there a way to measure one's faith in God? Well, God tests our faith. Okay. So we we are not the ones to test people's faith. God is the one who will give us certain tests and trials in life to see where our faith is at. To grow us, to discipline us. So our job is not to focus on anyone else's faith. Where someone's faith is, is got nothing to do with us. That's between them and God. The Bible says, mind your own business, live a, lead a quiet life. Mind your own business. So we, we are to rather worry, not worry, focus, I'd rather say, don't worry. Focus on your relationship and your faith between you and God instead of wasting your time on other people's faith i'm not saying this is relating to your question maybe this is off topic but this is just what we need to be mindful of also why is because jesus said take the log out of your own eye before you take the speck out of your brother's eye meaning don't go and judge people or try and learn about a person and where they at so that you can know what to do with them no god knows what to do with them god will show you what you are to do with them amen so i hope that makes sense but that that's kind of off topic now sam so sorry if i kind of went off topic there but might might have been good for you to hear I lost my way and you have shown me how to get you know what key glory to God you know I, I don't want to I'm not here to take credit I didn't choose to do this God told me to do this this is this is all because God has told me to do this okay so and God has provided for this to happen he's provided the internet connection he's provided the mark 
for good quality sound he's provided the camera and the lens a good lens for for this to happen the computer that i have it all has come together for this very moment for this for these live streams to happen on a daily basis i mean glory to god hallelujah we are just vessels i'm just like you in the sense that we both human beings we are all used by god as vessels for his glory and i'm grateful to be here because somewhere it says in the bible blessed are those who preach the gospel okay we all are ministers in some way shape or form you may not know it, but if you can just minister to some people in your life you you might not have to minister to millions like the evangelist down the road who's called by god to evangelize but you are called by god and god has a purpose for you amen god bless you so much key much love in christ amen awesome Ineka. god bless you so much is there a way to know your ranking in faith and anointing while well, we read about the the measure of faith god has given us god give has given us faith we've all got faith okay and there is the measure of faith god has given us and we choose to do what we want with the faith god has given us God has all give God has given us all faith. If we choose to use the faith that God has given us for his glory, we will have no fear in prophesying. We will have no fear in preaching the gospel. We have no fear to become a street preacher or uh, a preacher in a church or a preacher online. You will have boldness because your faith is activated and then God can use you. But not everyone is called to be prophets. Not everyone is called to be apostles. Not everyone is called to be pastors and teachers and evangelists. You go, excuse me, you got to know your calling and what God has called you to do. You might be called to be a deacon in a church or an elder or an usher, a helper, some kind of servant in the church or maybe you are called to be an intercessor where you are praying day and night for people you might be called to be a teacher for bible college you might be called to be an evangelist a missionary to go out and travel the, the nations you might be you know we each have a calling god has called us so he's given us faith so that we can do what he's called us to do but that faith needs to be activated by our choices. We are all capable. We have all, God would not call us if we are not capable. It takes faith, simple step of faith to say, yes, Lord, here I am. I will do what you've called me to do. God is waiting for us. Sometimes we are waiting for God and it's good to wait on the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So waiting on the Lord is a given. That's already a given. But waiting for God to give you something that is on level 40 but you're not even on level 23 is not god's fault it's not god to blame that is us because like for me if i am not willing to step up my game if i'm not willing to step up my commitment how can god use me the bible says if you are trusted with little you'll be blessed with more so god gives us certain amounts to be trusted with 
in each season. If we are trusted with what God has given us in, in the season now, then he will move us then into the next season that when we'll be trusted with something different, something more. It's a process, amen? Okay. God bless you, Key. That's amazing, Mary, that you chose to acknowledge God. The Bible says, Jesus said, if you acknowledge me before men, you'll be acknowledged before God, before the angels. But if you deny Jesus before men, you'll be denied before God the Father and in heaven. Sanako, thank you for the rose there. I'm really behind on the chat guys I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to skip some of them guys I hope that I can get to everyone do you draw how do you draw closer to God without distraction well that's knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you okay we cannot come up with excuses and say oh well I've got to cook now, so I've got no time for God. Or I've got to prepare for work, so I've got no time for God. Or I've got to shower, I've got no time for God. Take five minutes. Sacrifice five minutes. If you are so busy, at least say that you can take five minutes. So it's really just all about a choice. And how committed, how dedicated do you want to be? How much of the fear of God do you want to have? It's all up to us. God will not force us to put away distractions. We have to want to put away the distractions, if that makes any sense. I hope that helps there, Queen Lisa. God bless you so much and God loves you so much, okay? Hallelujah. It's good to pray though, Megan, when, yeah, that happens. That's good. That's good. What kind of dream did you have there that was weird, Nabira? Please share. God bless you too, Carl. How do you attain God's favor? Well, God's favor surrounds us as a shield, right? But God knows our hearts. So the real answer to your question is based on your motive. What is your motive? Do you have pure intentions? If God can see that you have pure intentions, because God sees your heart, He looks at your heart, He wants to see where you're at with your motive. What is your motive? Why are you wanting what you want? Why are you doing what you do? What is the intention behind that? But no, I want to do this because it's good to give money to the poor. But you want to take some of that money to buy some alcohol, or buy some beers buy some cigarettes or babe maybe go buy some movies or like you just are you focused on yourself or are you focused on god's will and so that will determine where god will bless us like for me i'm trusting god for a car if i am asking god for a car so that i can go and drive to strip clubs and pubs and clubs and maybe i just waste the petrol just driving around having fun on joy rides why should god bless me with something that's gonna become worse for me but if i ask god for a car so that i can start going to church again so that i can help people so that i can do something productive with it there's a different story now god can allow that to happen and it needs to be in his timing and his perfect will and so God will favor that if my intentions are in line with the will of God. You see, 
I've gotten to a point where I need to understand and I, by the grace of God, have come to the point where, Lord, if I don't need a car, then I don't need a car. But Lord, if a car will benefit, I ask you if, if it is your will, if you will permit, if you will allow me to have a car, then you'll make a way. And then God will make a way. God will show me what to do. And it may take some faith, but, and it will certainly take some faith. It always does. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So, and I'm just using this as an example, okay? Um, then if God permits it, it will go smoothly. It will go well. It will be highly favored. You will have favor. So if you want to know how to have the favor of God, ask yourself, is your motive, is your intention in line with the will of God? Because in the book of James, it says that you do not get what you ask for because you ask amiss you ask for something that when you get it you can spend what you get on selfish gain selfish pleasure but if you ask with a pure motive then god will give you whatever you ask for because you ask with pure heart look at for example king solomon god came to king solomon in a dream and God asked Solomon, what can I do for you? What do you want? Anything you want, I'll give to you. Solomon asked God, not for wealth and riches, but he asked for wisdom. He had a pure request. God gave him the opportunity to ask him for anything. And Solomon asked for wisdom. And because God saw Solomon's heart that his motive was right, his intention was right, that he asked for wisdom to lead the people, that now he would be blessed over and above. Because that is, that is who God is. God is the God of abundance. Solomon became the most wealthy man ever. And, and Solomon had attained so much wealth that no one was richer than him. He had so much gold and silver and livestock and materials that no one else had that much. So because he asked with pure intention, God still blessed him with a bonus over and above. See, God loves us. We are his children. God desires to favor us. He desires for us to be blessed. He desires for us to live in abundance. But will what he gives us draw us closer to him or take us away from him? God knows what will God knows what that thing will do to us if we receive it. So, God loves you. He wants the best for you. He's not going to give you something that will destroy you. Amen? All right. I prayed for two years for my husband to return to church and he started going again. Wow. Megan, praise God. You see the power of prayer, guys. Do not think that you will not receive what you asked for. If you don't see anything happen in the first day or the first week or the first month or even the first year. God made a promise to Abraham far before he even saw a son. That Abraham would be the father of many nations. Long before Abraham had even seen a son his son by Sarah, Isaac. Before Isaac came into the world, God had made a promise to Abraham. Amen. Glory to God. All right. 
That's amazing, Carl. You prayed to Jesus yesterday and he answer and f answered and f you felt a powerful presence fill you up. That's amazing, man. Carl, may those days of seeking Jesus as such never end in Jesus name. You know, I love these lyrics in the song called The Obsession by Jesus Culture. In a certain part of the song, the lyrics go as such. A burning heart, talking about a burning heart. I uh, can't remember now the exact lyrics, but it goes something that, something like, God, let me always burn for you. Jesus, let my heart always burn for you. And that is such a pure desire. That is such a pure intention. Amen. Glory to God, guys. Nabira, praise God for that testimony. God has a purpose for you. Amen. Hallelujah. He qualifies the cold. Amen. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Carl, may God bless you with what he's called you to be, my brother. Sanako, I'm sorry for the certain happenings that you've had. Kicked out, moved out of parents' house with my child. It hasn't been easy. I'm really sorry to hear what has happened. But God, he is for you. And he will make a way where there seems to be no way. So Lord, I pray for dear sister Sanako. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for supernatural provision. That according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus, that all her needs will be met for her and her child with her Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you for making a way where there seems to be no way for Sanako. Provisions, Lord, work whatever needs to be done lord show her what to do and and bless her and her child lord protect them guide them lead them provide for them along the way lord in jesus name amen amen uh guys uh smith sanaka and rachel thank you guys for the gifts there as well oh skipped it again to the bottom guys raven god bless you felt good after helping a stranger you know what the bible says about that mary it is more blessed to give than to receive wow what a joy it is to give now I, i've been in a situation in the last few years where i felt like i've received a lot more than i've given financially that is but I can tell you guys, when you have the opportunity to help someone, to make someone's day a little better, what a joy that is. A stranger, someone you've never met in your life, how you can still love and care for someone who you've never met. That shows that we have Jesus in us when we love like that. Yes, Rachel, that's a good prayer request. Lord, we pray for every person who's on this live stream right now who does not know you. Lord, I just pray in Jesus' name for their salvation, that they will come to know you, who you are, Jesus. Maybe they've been far from you, Lord. I just pray that you bring them back to you, Lord. I pray for their salvation. I pray that they'll know their purpose in life, Lord. 
that they will know that they are called by you and that you have a plan for them. Plans to prosper them and not to harm them. Plans for a future and a hope for them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord, for Norma, for provisions in those areas as well. With the right home, the right house to stay at with her daughter and her late sister's son. We thank you for supernatural provisions in those areas, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. King Hulk, thank you for the heart me there. Okay, thank you, Lord, for Raven. Whatever attack might be going on in his life, we just pray, Lord, for encouragement and faith in Raven's heart right now. We come against all these attacks from the enemy. I break its power now by the power of the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Shelby. All right, guys, uh, we are going to be wrapping things up for tonight i was i'm not able to get to all the comments i do apologize about that thanks for the rose mr t what i'd like to do though is pray a general prayer for all of you guys if you need healing in a certain area if you need finances if ha if satan has stolen from you i want to pray for you guys key i'm glad to hear that you helped someone even though you are hungry wow what a sacrifice what a what an awesome thing to do glory to god glory to god all right let's let's pray guys and then i'm going to be wrapping things up as it's already after 10 p.m in south africa so let's pray hey Ro hey roseanne welcome god bless let's pray though guys i'll be wrapping things up pretty soon Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for this live stream today. We thank you for everything that you've accomplished in our lives and all that you are doing in our lives. I just pray, Lord, as we move forward, as we continue to run the race that is set before us, that you have prepared for us. I pray in Jesus' name, Lord, for strength on the journey, guidance on the journey, wisdom on the journey, Lord. And that you would show us, Lord, what to do, where to go. And that your will will be done in our lives on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we thank you for the purpose and the plan that you have for each and every one of us. Help us, Lord, to remain focused on you. That we do not do and walk our own ways. But that we will follow your ways and commit our ways to you. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for every person struggling with anxiety and depression right now and stress let that be healed in their lives lord that they will not suffer any longer with such torment from the enemy so we come against every attack of the enemy against god's people we break your power now in the name of jesus and we thank you for your blood that covers each and every one of us lord jesus we thank you for your angels that protect us, Lord, that watch over us, that you have assigned to us. Thank you for loving us, Father. Thank you for sending your Son. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us. Help us to never forget that we are nothing without you and that we cannot do life and go anywhere without you. We cannot go to our father except through you jesus you 
are everything in our lives and we thank you for always being there for us never leaving us nor forsaking us we thank you holy spirit for being our best friend for being our comforter our helper our guide our protector our everything glory honor and praise to your name father you deserve all the praise honor and the glory and to you it is given you are worthy you are holy you are just have your way in jesus name amen and amen guys and girls sarah god bless you so much god bless every single one of you guys i love you all with the love of christ and i'll be looking forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow night for more bible reading more prayer more discussion hallelujah all praise to god amen all right i'm gonna love and leave you guys for now adios amigos gloria de dios hallelujah all right chad thanks man and uh, megan key rachel mr t nasem i'm not going to mention all the names i love you all peace to you in jesus name may the peace of jesus rest upon you in jesus name amen remember satan is under your feet you are the head and not the tail you are above and not beneath you are highly favored royal priesthood called by god anointed called protected go go do not fear god is with you wherever you go okay hallelujah amen all right guys peace out and until next time amen woohoo <laughs> glory to god always always and forever mm. see ya until tomorrow peace